Hi Scorpio, it's L here. I'm gonna do your October, October uh, general reading, October 2019 general reading. So things are closing out. It's the tenth month. It's the end, or it's to be. It's the culmination of you. You come so far, you know. And this is. It's either going to be happy. Or you've come so far and there's going to be closure. Uh, let's see. The wheel. The wheel is turning. The wheel is about luck. It's also about karma too. Uh, so what you put out will come back to you. Um, the wheel is always turning. Sometimes we're up. Sometimes we're down in life. Um, I'm hoping that everyone is up right all right let's get into it so like i had um i don't know i just felt like i need to break the reading up from male and female okay so one card for my scorpio males one card for my scorpio males this card just kept falling out four of hearts Someone is discontent, bored, unfulfilled, unsatisfied, wanting a change of journey, maybe even a change of home here. Uprooting the foundation. Forrest talk about roots, foundation, home, children, motherly energy. Um, yeah, so let's see. What's the energy for my Scorpio women? Scorpio females. Okay. Wow. Four of club. Two fours. People are thinking about their roots and what lies, you know, ahead. What is ahead? Or thinking about the foundation that they've created thus far. Is it to their liking? Um, are we moving forward or are we going to reduce this energy the four of clubs in the playing card deck talks about an unforeseen unfortunate event that comes in is this typically a bad event um we'll see what the cards say because the four of clubs of course are the four of wands in the tarot is a very good card so um something you could be dealing with aries sagittarius and leo um, women in my Scorpio men, you could be dealing with another water sign, or this is just you. Okay, so let's start with the Scorpio man. What's going on for the Scorpio man? What's the general energy surrounding my Scorpio men? The tower. This is equivalent, but this is course for the women. So. The tower. Somebody is bored, discontent, unfulfilled. And they're bringing that crap down. You know, let's shake this up. The tower is directly associated with Scorpio also. So Scorpio may be shaking up their own home, their own foundation, making some necessary changes. Um, yeah, reviewing this situation this relationship this marriage this business contract and maybe causing for the shake up for the shake up the breakdown and then the rebuilding after the tower is the star card could be dealing with an aquarius or it's just that you want to rebuild renew re 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 heal uh recuperate all of that um get back on the right path uh, so that could be where Scorpio man is um, wanting to, yeah, shift, change. How you coming off to everybody is being maybe erratic or sporadic or making necessary changes, or you did something out of the blue. Whether it's not talking or just a whole bunch of doing because you're trying to make, 
bring about change uh, and the, something happened. You, you brought, I feel like you brought the change, Scorpio. But maybe in regards to home life, something or someone you are obligated to, I'm hearing regulation or regulate or I don't know. Um, maybe this is your Scorpio man. This is your counterpart. Um, there might be shake up once again in the home. The Queen of Earth governs the home and work, luxury. Definitely the home. Something can be being shaken up in regards to the home. Let's see. The queen of fire. We get two. So Scorpio man, it may be that something is found out in regards to me. This is typically the other woman to a bear. You, with the shake up here in regards to your foundation, home and foundation is you know that you need to make a decision. Somebody, something needs to be cut out. Um, it could be the work you put into entrepreneurship, maybe in a, versus a job. It could be two actual physical people. Um, you are right now, knowing that you need to make a decision, you, you aren't clear. Uh, you need to gain clarity by some spiritual practice or getting some good feminine advice. Scorpio man, you're burying your head in the sand, knowing that you need to go ahead and and, and uh, divide. I'm hearing division. I don't know. Ace of water. You need to do what's best for you. Put yourself first. Once again, spirituality. You're so divided and unable to make a commitment to a decision because you are not filled with spirit. The advice here is to institute some spiritual practice that gives you a lot of clarity when you feel confusion that is not the spirit of the most high um, we don't serve a god of confusion but we serve one of clear thought clear mind so when you're unclear do know that that is an energy that is foreign to enlightenment and the most high okay so that's why people say get under some spiritual practice, whatever that may be for you. It, you know, I'm I'm liberal about that. I don't get under some spiritual practice, who or whatever that may be for you. Okay, Scorpio man. We're gonna do two more cards for the Scorpio man. The Ten of Water. Yeah, this is definitely you long-term goal fulfillment family your reputation fame fortune a masculine energy here um it says go after what or who takes you to the highest level of happiness hmm and it could be this third party, this third person. It could be building in a new direction. It could be a new business. I did mention that. It could be the woman. This is a woman. Empress is always a woman. I'm sorry. For the, and the same sex, go ahead and just reverse that. But um, Empress, go after the person that you have placed on that pedestal anyhow. This could be the mother of your children or the person you want to have children with. Someone who you feel is very abundant, attractive, does things for themselves, uh, how they see. This is a person who shapes their own world, their own environment. The Empress is the only out of all the women in the deck in the tarot uh, she sits on a throne in the midst of the wilderness, in the midst of um, what would be deemed as, um, you know, not not uh, developed, under underdeveloped, or 
uh, not developed or not cultivated or uh, she sits in the midst of wilderness she's able to create something from nothing whomever or whatever that may be for you business or person go after that okay the bottom of the deck you have a page of air yeah continue to be a student of life ask the necessary questions ask the probing questions so that you can gain insight in regards to get under some lead, lead blah, yep, leadership mentorship spiritual guide uh, this is being the student this is eager to learn learn newness I'm, I'm hearing that you guys are trapped in an old way okay also that's you know of course a spying and gathering information it could be just gathering information about what it is you want to do how you want to do it all right so scorpio woman let's see what's going on with you something out of the blue out of, i'm hearing out of the blue okay four of club what's going on the general energy surrounding my scorpio women Scorpio woman is thinking about expansion, is doing the legwork in regards to being able to walk away from some position that she was committed to for a while or halfway committed to. The Scorpio woman wants to do exactly or take action in regards to um, what it is she is passionate about. Looking out into the horizon, the Scorpio woman is all about taking action, nothing but fire cards here uh, and that's about growth and expansion and moving things forward magic magical just making things happen the scorpio woman is all about expansion uh, the scorpio woman is in something don't know what it is and uh, doesn't want to be there has stepped away from it energetically uh, but is still there but energetically so when I say that this is uh, example going to the job that you don't like you dislike you go in there every day um, but as soon as you get there you log in and you look at how to write a business plan how much money you need to do this or do that you're not putting any energy into your job that you just you know came to to work you have energetically stepped away from this job there's no energy put into it but you're still there so this could be a relationship this could be the scorpio woman wanting to learn about something um trying to be a little bit more yeah learned or stu well studied in in some arena uh i'm hearing this is plans of an ending this is right on the brink of an ending i don't know scorpio woman okay. uh, something you're in is is toxic or taxing um it there may be trouble and drama and jealousy here you've stepped away five of cups um you can't see the forest for the trees. You can't see that walking away from this situation. Now your emotions, your your heartstrings are being pulled on, and you're the five of cups. You can't see that there's something better suited. You are mourning the loss of could be life it could be or it could just be a situation you were in for so long something that you're walking away from or has walked away from you see that there's something better hesitating before making necessary decision still defending a position a relationship a marriage a contract Still fighting for it. 
this could be you scorpio this is someone around it. nothing but fire energy someone misses you someone wants you back someone is thinking of ways to get you back someone is looking in on you there's like an admirer type situation someone is willing to fight for it. the relationship the marriage the contract the world is here though it could be a fixed sign um scorpio you leo aquarius taurus uh, this could be you. you haven't gone the one year cycle or a cycle something is coming to closure a chapter in your life you come into a place of maturity with this saying you know no longer am i going to do this or can i do this um some of you are saying you feel good here or you 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 ready to go to the next level the next chapter let's see the moon So you might be close to a chapter, Scorpio, but there is somebody holding on, hanging on for dear life. Could be Aquarius, could be Pisces, could be could be anybody. Definitely fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Something happened with the breakdown of the relationship, some unexpected, unforeseen event. Um maybe where you walked away it wasn't fulfilling you anymore you had to go on your own path your own spiritual journey to find yourself you or you found yourself you found yourself somewhere else you have the strength to just really pick up and move on this could be in career this could be in love but there's somebody hanging on for dear life someone has real deep-seated reservation fear um delusion somebody's delusional in regards to someone thinks about you at night somebody is i'm hearing a binding spell somebody could be doing actual magic in it and i mentioned magic earlier in the reading Someone could be trying to do actual magic, you Scorpio, or another person to bind, binding spell to keep you four of pentacles in a home setting, in a relationship, in a community, in a house. Someone could be trying to do a binding spell to bring in money, more money. Somebody's doing a spell to bring money in. Uh, that... Um, somebody's waiting and they've done the work shit this person is trying to like really get you back or this is you scorpio haven't done the work in regards to trying to go in a new direction and you're you're waiting for enlightenment you're waiting for the opportunity to make some permanent decision to completely take your life right in your hands and then flip flip it upside down uh upheaval to to completely just it's like you you uh you just smack something and it goes up into the air right and then you just wait for it to all trickle down or come down uh that it says that this is your plan this was your secret plan uh, you have this, your own secret plans in regards to trying to cultivate grow develop something here um you're the woman or the man that's not doing anything, who's not moving. Or there's somebody who has a secret plan about you or to keep you bound or to keep somebody who wants to go in the next direction. There's reservation here. There's fear. Uh, there's um, is somebody doing like sex magic too. I don't know. Anyway. 
where are we? 19 minutes, okay. Um, let's see, for my Scorpio man, looks like you just need to make a decision about business or love. Looks like it might be love related. You need to get under some spiritual practice. Men have this thing about themselves, especially men who have accomplished so much in life. And men, you know, they tend to align themselves with and define themselves with what they've done and what their title is and blah, blah, blah. And I'm this and I'm that. Um, so that they have a hard time reducing themselves down to, and, and they would call it reducing, but they have a hard time really uh, kind of um, humility, finding that hu enough humility to say I need help, a specific help though, a help that is spiritual in nature, a help that it says like I'm in a vulnerable spot, I'm in a vulnerable place in regards to my emotions. And, and I need to make a decision, but I'm not in my heart and my mind are not aligned. And men aren't good at that. What they'll do is just get busy in life and just hope that it all figures itself out. Right? Uh, so this is some Scorpio who needs to get under some spiritual practice. It takes a very mature soul to say, I need, I need help, help that is a spiritual in nature it's not you know it's not like help from my friend or help from whatever but you know so anyway you might be dealing with somebody like that or this is a scorpio man who's like that take the next step now and keep the faith yeah you have to take some step here you got i'm gonna go ahead and give it to you courage Scorpio man, that's what you need. You need some courage to take the next step. Step out on faith. And know that you can only have faith if you have some spiritual practice, you're under some spiritual guidance. For my Scorpio woman. Scorpio woman. Self-care. You need to be concerned about yourself, doing things for self, and not that self-sacrificing energy and stuff that you, you know, you'll, if I do all of this for this person and that person and this, good, good stuff will come back to me. That is, that is a true statement. But then there's also the, um, the idea of having or practicing a healthy level of selfishness. So sometimes you have to. Sentimental feelings, healing from the past. So like I said, Scorpio woman, I feel like you you are over a certain situation, whether it be career, business, financially related, or relationship, love. You want the next chapter. Um, the sentiment for this situation is still there. Uh, it, but you're at the same time, you're trying to heal and move on. Okay. Some of you may be trying to monetize a hobby. It's like you're trying to move from and go to. Uh, or you need to participate in a hobby that will bring you some clarity. Let's get an angel answer and then let's close on out. Um, I feel like some of you need to get your own personal reading here. If it's business related, love, um, just make the necessary decisions, okay? Um, there might be someone trying to hold on to you, Scorpio, or take things to the next level. They have secret plan in regards to you. Um, a lot of magic here, either for the good or for the bad, I don't know. Uh, okay, Scorpio man, angel answer. Don't stop. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, the Scorpio man is on a a path. I heard a war path with that tower card. Um, 
uh, but don't stop. Don't get to a place of, oh my God, what did I just do? What am I doing? What are, keep going. It says take the next step. Don't stop. Keep the faith. Have courage. Okay? To make necessary change. And for my Scorpio woman, the situation will improve. Do know that. Looks like you've done a lot of work. You're trying to do a lot of work. Uh, yeah, the situation will improve because you have idea of improvement. Okay? All right, guys. Um, I hope that the reading resonated for you, with you. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. The 30-minute phone reading is on, on sale. Still on sale. Uh, uh, yeah, it's on sale. The link will be below. Or if you feel like you, you know, you're not in a place where you can actually um, make that investment, then take advantage of the one question or the the situation advice and outcome reading. That's nine ninety nine, where you get three cards pulled for you. It'll be sent to you in email form, explaining what the situation advice and outcome is for you. Nine nine nine. Okay. Oh, I think it's gonna go up. I so I move it by the months, so it's gonna go up to ten, ten. So it's gonna be ten dollars and ten cents in October. Okay, that situation advice outcome. So still not a huge investment to make. Um, if you need a bit of clarity. Uh, so thank you guys anyway. Uh, many blessings to you. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.